Hello, mummies and daddies. So today I just want to show you the journal that I bought from Mr. Price. It is 70 Rand. I bought it two weeks ago, so I'm not sure if they're still available. I love the contents inside. I thought I should plug you. So, mummy, so this journal comes in pink color. I did not see any other colors. And then the first page is just your personal details, your name, your address, your mobile number, home address, passport, Instagram, and Twitter handle. And then the second page, it is a calendar for the whole of the year, 2024. However, I'm going to print out a 2025 calendar. And then this part, third page, it's goals. Nobody gets to live life backward. Look ahead. I love these words. That is where your future lies. And then my plan. And then your long-term goals, you write them here. Where I am now in relation to achieving my goals. And then your short-term goals, you write them here. Because a year has 12 months. I would maybe break them down into 333 three, or whichever way, depending on how long your goals are. And then here you tick if it's achieved, ongoing, revised, and discontinued. Because you know that goals change from time to time. You can plan a thing and then it doesn't pass, you know. So these are the holidays for 2024. Still going to print out holidays for 2025 and then print them out here. And then contact list. And then your bucket list, your bucket list, your bucket list. It has three pages. I really do not know what a bucket list is, to be quite honest. So as you can see, the separators, it's January, February until December. So for January, it's basically the same thing. January. So for the month of January... So for the month of January, you list your priorities, you list the goals for January, and then your notes and what you are grateful for. I love this part. That means that I do not have to write those um, notes into the jar because eventually at some point they'll fill up. So you know what I love about this journal. It makes you to become focused. You write your goals for, for January. For the month of January and then you're gonna stick to this plan you're gonna be like okay I planned this for this month at least it gives you a direction you know and what are you going to do I think this is an action plan your to-do list okay I plan to do this 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 and that you know it's so much detailed I love this journal and then your appointments maybe you have a facial maybe you have an appointment at the doctor whatever the case may be maybe a meeting whatever and then things that you should not forget. Very important things, you know. And then let's see the other page. Your reminders, special dates. And then what you want to do on Monday. Monday, 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 Monday. On Tuesday, what you plan to do the following day. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, until Saturday. This goes on and on, you know. Same thing, the following week, the second week, your priorities. Do not forget to do this the second week. Your notes, you know? And then Monday, you write the things that you plan to do until Sunday. Same thing, same thing. So you see, this is like a planner. I love this. I really do. Just for January. And then um, your monthly plan. So it also has like a budget template, um, words to describe the month. I think maybe at the end of the month, you'd come here to tell yourself, well, okay, I, this month was not good. Okay, this month I have achieved this, you know, and so forth. Thing, new things I tried, speed bumps, your challenges, highlights, you know, I am grateful for. And then I think here, I'm gonna write my own personal budget here. I'm going to write my own personal budget and then your notes as well. So let's go over to February. The month of February, your priorities, you write your goals, your notes, things that I'm grateful for, your to-do list, your appointments for the month of February. Do not forget your little reminders. And then here you just write your schedule for the 
for the week, reminders, special date. You plan out your week, of course. If maybe you want to go to gym, you write, okay, um, whatever the case may be. You know, you just write down the things that you want to do on a daily basis. I love this, you know. I really, really do love this book. Priorities, do not forget my notes. And then your schedule for the week as well. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Same thing, same thing. Same thing. My monthly plan was to describe the month, th new things I tried, speed bumps, highlights, takeaways I am grateful for. And then here I'm just going to write down my budget and some notes. So February, same thing till December. So this journal, it's very detailed. It is very detailed. It will help me to focus, you know. We all have resolutions, we all have long-term and short-term goals, but I think our problem is that we do not execute them, we do not put them in writing, we do not have reminders, because there's just a lot that is happening in 24-7, there's just a lot happening in our lives, but if we stick to your goal, your vision, I don't think that there's anything that can really disturb you towards achieving your goals. I love this. It will sort out my life so perfect. And it will also push me. You know, I love it. I really, really do. The only thing that I need to change here is just the calendar and the school holidays. But for this price, I shame for 70 rand. It is quite affordable. So just go ahead to Mr. Price. You'd probably find it. Or Mr. Price Home. If you can't find it, maybe go online you'd find something similar. But Mr. Price, this is the plug for your journal. I love this. For those who want to have like an organized life, get this book. It's a must have. Bye-bye.